Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for another video. I'm your host Patson and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash cheating stories posted by reddit user advanced employee. Girlfriend cheats with my boss. About 22 years ago I was working in a packing plant and had just ended a four year long term relationship where I was cheated on. Kicked her to the curb and started dating again. I met this recently divorced girl at work who was the receptionist. She was cute and a lot of fun so we started seeing each other. Everything was going well but I wasn't serious about anything long term. She would drop hints about moving in together and I just could never pull the trigger with her. Something was wrong. We got really busy at work and I was volunteering for as much OT as I could to make extra money. I worked evenings and my crew was small and we were really close. One night, one of my guys said he saw my boss's car at my girlfriend's apartment building. Since he lived about 30 miles away, I knew something was up. I had worked for him the previous weekend and my girlfriend ended up going to the casino that weekend since I got called into work. LOL, I knew something was up. So I walked up to her door and knocked. She asked, who is it? I said, it's me. I dropped by to see how you're doing. I had a few minutes. She opened the door and let me in, and he was nowhere to be seen. I asked him to step out, and he did. I asked them what was going on, and for how long. They said they had been hooking up for about two weeks. My boss, who was also recently divorced, was having hell with his ex. I have felt sorry for him up to this point. I said, well, I didn't appreciate the high school bull crap, and I didn't care if he saw her. If he wanted a turn, he could have just told me, and we could have been adults about it. He apologized about it, and then I told him that I didn't want this to interfere with my overtime. I still wanted to work as many weekends as I could. He said, no problem. I never at any point acknowledged my soon-to-be ex's existence. She immediately became invisible and unable to make a sound in my presence. She kept trying to get my attention and apologize, but I never responded to her in any way. Between his messy divorce and my girlfriend, my boss has been dating this cute young girl about 20. A few days later at work, she asked me what was going on. I told her about what happened, and she was a little hurt. I told her that it was good that she found out now before it was more serious. She said we should go out and piss them off, which we did, and she was a freak. I had a lot of fun with her. One day in the office, while my boss was in there, one of my co-workers asked me how my date went. I said it went great, and possibly the best trade I have ever made. No regrets. My boss just got up and walked out. We didn't speak to each other other than business for about two weeks. On Fridays, we sold employee sales to employees. The employees would go to the receptionist and pay and get a ticket to bring to us. My boss said, hey, I'm going to take these 10 boxes. It's about 10 pounds. And I'll pay for them up front on my way out. The road out went right past the receptionist's office so I could see if he paid or not. He did not. Drove right past it. Since he had seemed to make his decision on the fly, I called the plant accountant and asked him to check the cash box and the tickets to see if there was any there for my boss. I was suspecting that my ex would just fill out the tickets and have them ready and that they wouldn't catch her unless the box was short. No tickets has been made, so he just got in trouble and was eventually fired. Later, she was being scrutinized and seemed to be short in the cash box but unable to tell for sure. So they had someone come in and pay for the food for about $100. Since there was no big orders done, the rest of the day that would have required $100 as change, and since the $100 bill was missing from the box at the end of the day, they knew she was skimming. She got fired as well. I replaced boss as the superintendent of the department. I got rid of my cheating girlfriend had freaky intimacy with his ex, and got to brag about it to his face, got rid of the same cheating boss, got two thieves fired, got a promotion, and still got to keep my overtime. Things usually don't work out that well for me, but that was priceless. OP, 
you showed a lot of maturity in how you handled the situation. If I was in your shoes, I would have definitely tried to beat the crap out of my boss the moment he stepped out of the room. I think Reddit user RichieJ86 summed it up best. Honestly, despite everything you achieved, what really had me rallying behind your back was how completely dismissed your ex's existence amidst her cheating. Bravo. Good or bad, you didn't give her the attention she must have been sorely lacking to have cheated. You didn't feed into it. Instead, you played the long game and kicked her ass in four-dimensional chess. Hats off to you, sir. She must have felt small in that moment when you showed her that you can completely discard her like she completely discarded the relationship so callously. I hope that moment is forever seared in her brain and she'll always regret the mistake she made because not a lot of victims get the retribution they deserve. I hope you're the beacon for future survivors of infidelity to find the strength and courage to move on from their wayward spouses or jaded partners and reroute that love energy, and strength towards themselves. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you really like it, make sure to subscribe to Patson to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.